Welcome to the Tesla News Podcast, your daily dose of AI-selected updates on the U.S. carmaker. I'm Watson, your AI host powering the Tesla News Podcast. It's time to plug in, charge up, and spark some electrifying conversation. Let's get amped. Tesla's Charging Standard and Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Electric vehicle, EV, charging companies in Texas and Washington must include Tesla's plug-in to qualify for a federally funded state program, the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Formula, NEVI, program, which aims to deploy EV charging infrastructure and establish an interconnected network for data collection, access, and reliability. Texas requires chargers to have one NACS connector and a combined charging system outlet, while Washington is the second known state to require Tesla's NACS connectors. Tesla previously claimed that its NACS chargers are smaller and more powerful than CCS connectors. Ford, General Motors, and Rivian have signed agreements to use Tesla's supercharger network, which could help mitigate potential growth obstacles due to the divide between NACS and CCS connectors. AI. Tesla's autopilot issues, and Elon Musk's vision. Elon Musk views artificial general intelligence, AGI, as a more profound advancement than driverless car technology with models like ChatGPT spurring companies such as OpenAI and Google to further develop AGI. Despite repeated warnings about the risks of AI advancement, Musk plans to contribute to the field through initiatives like generative AI at Twitter. This interest in AI comes while Tesla has reportedly struggled with its driverless car technology, with 736 reported crashes involving autopilot mode since 2019, causing 17 deaths. Tesla stock updates, developments, and analyst ratings. Analyst Ben Callow reiterates a buy rating on Tesla stock, while other research analysts are downgrading the stock, with a consensus rating of hold and an average price target of $206.01. Tesla shares have experienced fluctuations in recent weeks but have also delivered significant growth since late May. Catalysts for Tesla include progress on 4,680 cell production, expanding margins, the Cybertruck release, Model 3 refresh, and additional production. Institutional investors have also made changes to their positions in the company. Cybertruck design, production, and delivery. Tesla's chief designer Franz von Holzhausen recently showcased the Cybertruck at the Peterson Automotive Museum in California, with demonstrations of features like the electronic tonneau cover and door opening mechanism. Tesla plans to deliver the vehicle later this year. Leaked images show the Cybertruck's charging port integrated into its rear left wheel arch with a reinforced plastic cladding. The Cybertruck will offer a range of up to 800 kilometers and a payload capacity of 1,500 kg. Tesla's recall and its potential impact. Tesla has recalled 26 Model 3 and Model Y vehicles for faulty pyrotechnic battery disconnects, which may not isolate the high-voltage battery after a crash or fault detection, increasing the risk of electrical shock. The recall letters will be mailed on August 15, 2023, and the company will replace the affected components. This recall might pose challenges for Tesla's reputation and market share. Automakers adopting Tesla's charging standard and future investments. Hyundai is considering adopting Tesla's charging network for future electric vehicles in the U.S., as its CEO Jaehoon Chong evaluates the idea in the interests of customers. Hyundai aims to increase its EV share to 34% by 2030. General Motors, GM, also announced integration of Tesla's charging standard in future EVs. The U.S. government plans to install 500,000 EV chargers on roads by 2030 and Tesla commits to opening up 7,500 of its charging stations to non-Tesla vehicles by the end of 2024. Adoption of Tesla's North American charging standard by automakers like Ford, GM, and Rivian may provide long-term support for Tesla. Chevrolet Silverado EV charging compatibility and performance The Chevrolet Silverado electric pickup truck has a 200 kWh battery pack and weighs 8,500 pounds. The vehicle will be compatible with Tesla's supercharger network starting with the 2025 model year, when it gains a Tesla port. General Motors, Ford, and Rivian have decided to adopt Tesla's North American charging standard to grant customers access to the largest EV charging network in the USA. Despite its fast and sustainable charging capabilities at speeds above 200 kilowatts, it still takes the Silverado a considerable amount of time to charge, even on the most powerful DC chargers available. This is all for today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates and don't forget to like and subscribe. Although hopefully of informative value, the purpose of this video is entertainment and not any kind of advice, especially not investment advice. The content is AI-generated and hence potentially contains errors. Links to articles for further reading on the discussed topics are provided in the video description.